Satnam and good evening. My name is Mary Dew and I would like to welcome you to the Pisces Full Moon Circle. Tonight overnight, uh, the Pisces Full Moon reaches its peak at 1.22 a.m. Eastern Time. So think about what that converts to for you. Uh, we've been doing these bi-weekly moon circles right here on the 3HO Foundation Facebook Live, and I hope you're enjoying them. Um, try to gear these circles to beginners so that anyone is welcome, everyone is welcome, and uh, no experience required. The only thing you need is an open mind, and I also recommend thinking about dedicating a journal to the moons and the moon cycles and uh, just grab yourself a moon journal. Got my moon journal right here. The beauty of a, a journal as you follow the cycles of the moon, um, we talked about this before, the moon is on about a 28 day cycle as it cycles around the earth and so every two weeks we have a new moon or a full moon. And so a couple weeks ago, we got together and uh, we were here for the new moon, and the Leo new moon. And so here two weeks later, we are in the Pisces full moon. And uh, you, I hope you can see it tonight. I know I'm here in Michigan and uh, it was, this moon is a bright, bright moon. And I could see it last night and you'll be in the energy of this moon uh, really through Wednesday into Thursday. And so uh, we'd like to send a shout out. Thank you for the ones who are here right now. Thank you for being here. And to those who uh, might be watching this later, just know that you are still in the energy of the full moon in Pisces and we're holding space for you right now in our global virtual circle. So a little bit about this Pisces full moon. Um, the idea that it came up with for our theme for tonight is the idea of release and resilience. And so as we follow the cycles of the moon, on the full moon, it's a wonderful time to let go, to release, to give the moon, the big bright moon, anything that you don't need. And during the full moon, you know, the moon is very illuminating. It's extra, extra bright. And so some things might come to light, some good, some bad. Um, and whatever you have maybe outgrown, old habits, toxic relationships, um, anything that you, no longer serves you, anything you don't need, you can release it to this full moon. And so in our ceremony tonight, we will be um, doing some intentions, setting some intentions um, to do that release uh, a little bit later in the ceremony. And so I think that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, the Pisces full moon, let me just uh, talk a little bit about Pisces. So Pisces is a water sign. And Pisces, you might recognize, is the fish. And so think of as we are in our circle today and as we're releasing, Maybe we can call upon the energy of Pisces, the energy of the water element, and the water element can clear us, clean us off. The meditation we're going to do today um, calls in the element of water, or if you use your imagination, and that's why I just love this meditation. We've actually done this one before, but we're gonna do it again. And, uh, the other thing to think about with Pisces with the fish is that you can call in the fish as allies. If you've ever seen those pedicures where the people stick their feet in the uh, tub with fish and the fish nibble away at all the dead skin, think about that. Think about the fish calling upon the fish energy, calling upon the water to clear you and those fish can nibble away the layers of anything you want to let go of tonight. So we'll have those as our allies tonight. So before we begin our circle, I always like to start with a good shake. <laughs> and so for the next like two to three minutes, let's just kind of loosen up 
And the idea behind this is to get the energy moving. So we'll shake it up, we'll get the energy moving, and then that way it can fall back in and settle into place and we can shake off anything we don't need. So we get a little more rhythm for us here. Let's begin with that intense toe stretch. A little stretching, a little shaking. So come on to your knees. And come on to the balls of your feet. Spread the toes wide. So you don't tuck them under like in rock pose. You want to spread the toes wide if this is comfortable for you. And if this is too intense, this intense toe stretch, then feel free to come into rock pose and you can tuck the toes under. But give it a try. You can either stay here, spreading the toes wide, breathing deeply. Or, if it's accessible to you, go ahead and sit back on the heels. That might intensify the stretch. Long spine, lengthening from the root all the way up through the crown of the head. And maybe begin to circle the wrists. Come into a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Take it in the other direction. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Good. Now inhale, come back up. This time go ahead and tuck the toes under, bring the heels together, big toes together, sit back on the heels and rock pose. Inhale and exhale. Flex the spine a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Good. Deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Take it a little faster. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. We're just kind of loosening up the spine, taking it slowly. Your gaze is forward, nice long spine, long neck. Flex, round, flex, round, flex, and round. Good. Now come back to sitting. Find a comfortable seat, easy pose. If you want to, you can sit in a chair. If you're sitting in a chair, place the feet firmly on the floor, connecting with the earth, and begin to shake out the wrists to the sides, up above, out in front, all around. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Keep it going now. Shake. Move that energy, any energy that is stuck anywhere you're feeling held back at a stop, at a standstill. Shake it up, let it go. Maybe add the shoulders. Now inhale, the shoulders up. Exhale as they drop down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Take it a little faster. Up in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Really let them drop. Shaking out any tension that you're holding. We hold a lot of emotions in our shoulders. Shake it out. Good. Let yourself hear your breath. Good. Now inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides and up overhead. Deep breath in. Reach. Keep the head and chin level, but lengthen the spine from the root to the crown and up through the fingertips. Reach, reach, reach. Inhaling deeply. And exhale. Shake it out on the way down. Bring the palms face down on the knees in a gesture of grounding. And last piece. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Good. Now inhale the head back. And exhale forward. Taking the head in very slow neck circles. Inhale back. Exhale forward. You can close the eyes. Roll them up to the third eye point if you like. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Long, slow, deep breath. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Good. Now come back to center. Inhale deeply. Dropping the shoulders. Closing your eyes. Rolling them up to the third eye. Drop the left ear to the left shoulder. And inhale back. Exhale forward. Exhale forward. Couple more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Take a deep breath in. Put the palms 
palms down on the knees in a gesture of grounding, lengthen the spine. We're shaking up the energy. Now allow it to fall back. Let those pieces fall where they may. Sometimes when we shake it up, that's exactly what we need to get those pieces to fall back where they belong. So take a deep breath in. And on this exhale, side out the mouth, let something go. And feel yourself grounded. Another deep inhale from the earth to the sky, stretching the spine. Letting the belly expand, the ribs, the chest, drop the shoulders. Exhale, side out the mouth. And feel yourself balanced. One more deep breath in, expand. And exhale, let it go. And feel yourself centered. And welcome. And let's open our Pisces full moon circle. And so, as we, and then we'll tune in and get this thing rocking. So, go ahead and if you like, close your eyes, stay in that comfortable seat. And we say, good evening, good evening, and welcome to the east, the direction of the springtime, the direction of the sunrise, the element of fire, and we greet the east, the void, the thing where all, the place where all things begin. And we call upon finding calm in the chaos, peace in the chaos. Thank you to the east. Welcome to the east. Welcome to the fire. We have the fire here and the candles on either side of me as well. And we turn and face the south and we say, welcome. Welcome to the south. The south is the season of summer. The south is the element of earth. The south is the direction of the heart. And the south is the container. And so this container, we will open the container of our circle for this evening, welcoming everyone around the globe who's here right now, everyone who might be joining later. Welcome to this evening's Pisces Full Moon Circle and welcome to the south. And we turn and face the west, we welcome the west. The west is the direction of autumn. The falling leaves is a time of letting go and it's the element of water. And so water teaches us how to let go. It teaches us how to be flexible, how to be fluid. So we say, welcome to the west. Turn to face the north. Sorry to turn my back on you. I'm just kind of going to gesture to the north. Welcome to the north. The north is the element of air. The north is the season of winter. And the north is the direction of power, vitality, action, of wisdom, and of knowledge. So we welcome the north to our circle as well. Take your hands up to the sky and welcome Pachatata, Father Sky. Welcome, welcome to the Pisces full moon, Grandmother Moon. Bring your hands down to the earth if you can and welcome Pachamama, Mother Earth. Thank her for her grounding energy, always being there to support us. And bring your left palm to your heart center. Place the right palm over the top. Close your eyes, roll them up to the third eye and honor the divine spirit within you that divine spirit within each and every one of us and feel our connection, feel into the oneness that we are all connected. Aho and welcome. And let's tune in, rub the palms together at the center of your chest. We'll tune in with our Kundalini tune in, the Adi Mantra. Om Namo Gurudev Namo, three times on three separate breaths, pressing the palms together firmly, bringing the thumbs into the heart center, forearms parallel to the earth. Om Namo Gurudev Namo, with a deep breath in between, three repetitions. And then we'll go right into four sniffs of air in through the nose, sniff, 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 into 
the Mangala Charan Mantra for Divine Protection. Ad Gude Name, Jugad Gude Name, Sat Gude Name, Siddhi Gude Deve Name. Again, three times, three separate breaths, but that breath is the four sniffs in through the nose. Just follow along if you haven't heard this version before. It's pretty simple. And here we go. So pressing the palms together at the heart center, thumbs into the heart, deep breath in, close the eyes, roll them up to the third eye point as you exhale, and let's begin. Inhale. Om Namo Gurudev Namo, inhale. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo Gurudev Namo, or sis. contained and turn the palms up on the knees in a gesture of receptivity just pause here for a moment and listen breathing deeply focusing on the third eye palms up on the knees in a gesture of receptivity so if the palms are down we're grounding if the palms are up we're receptive we're listening we're open to whatever the universe has to share with us this evening. Good. So our circle is open and I wanted to share with you to start us off. I drew a card for us for this evening. I like to use this Queen of the Moon Oracle cards, uh, this set. It's by a woman named Stacy DeMarco. I don't really know a lot about her, but I just love these cards. They're wonderful, beautiful. And so the card that I drew for us this evening is da, 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 gratitude. So this is, hang on, I might need my glasses for this. This is the card of gratitude, and it's the last quarter moon. So gratitude. And I think this really ties in nicely with our, uh, with our Pisces full moon tonight. So here's what it said about gratitude. It says, be where you are and be thankful. There is always something to be grateful for, no matter what you're suffering. Gratitude raises the lower vibration to a higher one. Do not allow yourself to be surrounded by too many negative people. Life is conspiring for you. So remember that and maybe take a moment here, bringing the palms back to the heart center, left palm at the heart center, right palm over the top. Take a moment to breathe a deep breath into that gratitude. You know, it's crazy times in the world right now. I know these are unprecedented times, like nothing I believe we've ever experienced in our lifetime. And the challenge for us right now is to stay out of fear, stay out of anxiety, stay out of doubt, stay in a place of love, stay in a place of gratitude. Gratitude brings us back to that love, brings us back to that compassion, all of which are the heart space. So just remember that. Think about all the things we do have to be grateful for even in these challenging times. So we will go ahead and uh, let's get our body moving a little bit. I thought we'd warm up a little more before we come into our meditation. So find that comfortable seat, turn the palms back down on the knees in a gesture of grounding, and let's do a little spinal warm up here. Take a deep breath in. Close the eyes, roll them up to the third eye as you exhale. Push off to the left and begin to roll. 
roll from the waist with your supi grind. Inhale forward, exhale back. Good. Arch as you come forward, round back. Lead with the heart. Inhale forward, exhale back. So as you move, breathe deeply, focus on the third eye point. You can use the hands on the knees as leverage. Keep the shoulders in line with the hips. Allowing the spine to flex forward. And round it back. Breathe deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Find a rhythm that feels good to you. And just roll with it. Allow the belly to expand on the inhale. Draw it back to the base of the spine as you exhale. Breathing in and out through the nose in equal parts. A little longer in this direction. Breathe deeply. Bringing yourself into your body and allowing your consciousness to drop.
take a deep breath in, draw the shoulders back, elbows back. Nice long spine. And exhale, turn the palms up on the knees. Pisces full moon a little bit more and um, what else can we say about Pisces so Pisces is as we said it's a watery element and sign and it's also in the realm of dreams and emotion and so emotions are also very much tied to the full moon in general so we have a full moon and you have Pisces, both of which are very emotional signs. So just notice how you feel as you're here, as you're breathing. And if you feel emotions coming up, just know that that's totally normal. You might want to jot a few things down in your journal to document it so that you, know, you can work on these emotions. But allow these emotions. You can step back to a place of observation where you're observing your emotions rather than reacting just observing. Isn't that interesting? Taking a look at that emotion. Where's that coming from, I wonder? And you don't have to have the answers, but maybe throw out those rhetorical questions, kind of open up to what that emotion might be here to teach you. And if we can work in it with our emotions in this way, uh, it's a wonderful way to expand and it's also a wonderful way to clear out those emotions. It's funny, we think that uh, when an emotion comes up, sometimes we're taught just to push it down and bury it, but what really, we're, it, it'll keep coming back if you do that. If you bury it, it keeps coming back until you learn the lesson. So if we can allow ourselves to actually go into those emotions, which might be extremely uncomfortable, once you get in there, that's how you can finally release it and clear it. And so we come back to our theme for tonight, release and resilience. We become resilient by releasing that which challenges us the most, by facing it head on. And so with that theme, uh, with the moon, I also wanted to talk a bit about, um, again, I'm not a numerologist, but I love the uh, the monthly updates that come from Nam Hari. She is the Tantric Numerologist with 3HO and you can sign up for free on the uh, 3HO Foundation website and get her monthly email with uh, the monthly forecast for uh, according to the numerology. And September is a nine, the ninth month. The number nine is a number of completion. And so Nam Hari mentions in this latest September numerology forecast, um, the release effect of the month of September, the release effect. And so it ties right in with our theme of release and resilience and right in with the work that we do with the moon to release. And so think about releasing, think about taking actually the entire month of September. It's interesting in September because we'll actually have three circles in September. We usually have two per month, but with this being on the first, our next one will be on the new moon in Virgo on September the 16th, and then right at the end of the month, we uh, will meet again for another full moon circle on the 30th, the last day of the month, because the next full moon is on October 1st. And so uh, a lot of moon energy in this month. So let's take this month and let's look at completion Let's look at release, let's look at clearing. So number nine, the number of completion, also clarity, also clearing. And can we perhaps wrap up our loose ends from 2020, which has been an incredibly challenging year, can we wrap up these loose ends this month by the end of September, which I realize isn't the year's end, but if we can do that and we can bring some of this to completion, I think we can open ourselves up to perhaps start doing the work for the new year in October, November, December. And um, I'll come back at you at the next uh, New Moon Circle with a little more information, but I'm going to be doing a 90-day uh, 
program for October, November, December to work with that energy so that by the time we roll into the end of the year, we have totally released our resistance, stepped into resilience, and we're ready to start on day one, on January 1st of 2021, ready to go. So let's just think about working with the cycles of the moon between now and the end of the year, and if you journal along the way, um, you'll be able to see your progress, and I think you'll find that it's very inspiring once you start taking a look at your intentions and how when you follow these cycles of the moon and when you revisit those intentions, they really do manifest powerfully. It's powerful, powerful stuff. So uh, with that, uh, before our meditation, I just wanted to share one other thing. I love to share the uh, new moon updates and full moon updates from the power path. And uh, we've shared these in some of our other circles as well. So it's thepowerpath.com if you want to check it out. Uh, these are written by Lena Stevens, who is a friend and teacher and wonderful, wonderful, intuitive shamanic practitioner and healer. And so she writes these moon updates on the new moon and the full moon every couple of weeks. And that's also a free email list that you can sign up for if you're interested in going deeper into some of this stuff and, uh, and working with these cycles of the moon. And she also does a wonderful monthly uh, forecast as well. And it's not based on numerology, it's more of an intuitive forecast. So here this is, the Full Moon in Pisces update from Lena Stevens of the Power Path. So this moon, the Full Moon, is also uh, known as the Corn Moon. Okay, so she says the Corn Moon is a great time to practice gratitude. Uh -huh, we're on to something. Great time to practice gratitude and acknowledge the abundance of life with all its gifts, lessons, opportunities, challenges, and experiences. The full moon is in Pisces, giving us the opportunity to open our intuition, our hearts, and our emotional wisdom. Connect with your guides, jumpstart your spiritual practices with new discipline, and allow the old to fall away, making room for something new. We're still in a challenging time of change and letting go, adjustment to new landscapes, and trying to make sense of something we have never experienced before. Your intention should be focused on how you wish to feel as you move forward into the future. So take some time to feel into what you wish to manifest during this full moon. And with that, set our full moon intention for the evening. So I invite you to find that comfortable seat. You can take the palms down on the knees if you feel a little grounding. You can take the palms up on the knees if you want to be receptive. You can take the palms to the heart center, whatever feels best to you. You can also put all the, the fingertips together, maybe in front of your solar plexus. I kind of like to hold it there. It's a strengthening uh, mudra. Close the eyes, roll them up to the third eye point, and just begin to breathe deeply. So deep breath in. Deep breath out, let something go. And just open yourself up to your intuition, coming into that space of the heart, your consciousness resting in your heart. Take a moment to set an intention. What is it that you wish to release and think about what Lana said in that update. What is it you wish to feel coming into the future, coming out of this crazy 2020 and looking ahead to a new year? And just allowing yourself to move forward. What type of intention, what do you want to release on this full moon? When you have your intention, place it in your heart and let's water that intention as if it were a seed. Place that seed in your heart, watery Pisces comes in, water it. Let those fish circle and nibble away anything that you don't need, anything that's blocking that energy, anything that's blocking your heart energy, anything that's blocking you from attaining that intention. Allow that Pisces energy to come in. Allow Grandmother Moon to 
to shine her light of illumination on that intention? How do you want to feel? Can you feel it right now? Take a deep breath in. Wherever you are, bring the left palm to the heart center, right palm over the top. One more deep breath into the heart as you water that seed of intention. Feel into it. And hold that intention in your heart as we come into our meditation. The meditation that I chose for us for this evening is one that, like I said, we've done this one before, but I think you can never do this one enough because it's so wonderful for clearing and for release and for surrender. And it is the meditation to, it's the meditation for the arc line and to clear the karmas. So you might know this one. So the mantra for this one is Wahe Guru, Wahe Geo. Wahe Guru, Wahe Geo. So it's Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Geo. And what that means basically is uh, great beyond description is the experience of God's wisdom in the Guru and the experience of God blessing the soul in the Geo. The posture for this meditation. Sitting in easy pose, nice long spine, long neck, chin level, slightly tucked, slight neck lock. You're going to bring the elbows into your sides and turn the palms up. And then bring all five fingers together and slightly cup the hands. The eyes will be closed for this one, so I would invite you to focus on your third eye for this one. And you're basically going to... Scoop the hands up through the arc line. The arc line is the sixth body that we talk about. Women have one that goes from nipple to nipple here. We also have represented as the halo, the arc line. And the arc line is kind of the uh, transmitter, the protector of the aura. And so uh, the arc line can store things for years, store things from different lives. And so uh, by clearing the arc line, we're clearing out uh, the DNA of, of past relationships. We're clearing out uh, the karmas, past traumas, sometimes ancestral. And so with the hands coming back to elbows at your sides, palms up, hands cupped, we're going to scoop up through the arc line. Bring the hands up over the ears as far back as you can go. And as you come up over the tops of the ears, flip the wrists back, reach back as far as you can, almost as if you're scooping up water. And with the flick of the wrist, you're throwing it behind you. So it's wahe guru, wahe guru, wahe guru, wahe geo, wahe guru, wahe guru, wahe guru. Wahe Gio. So that's it. That's our meditation. Eyes closed, focused on the third eye. Wahe Guru, Wahe Gio. We're going to do it for 11 minutes. This meditation is recommended actually for 31 minutes. And I highly recommend trying that at home if you do have maybe excess stuff you need to clear. Maybe you're getting out of a bad relationship. This is a really great one to do as a 40 day practice. 31 minutes a day, but for today, like I said, we will do this for 11 minutes. Go ahead and close your eyes, take a couple deep breaths, find that easy pose, bring the elbows into the sides, bring the palms up, cupping the hands. Focusing on the third eye, deep breath in. Wow. 
good. Two more of those. Deep breath in. Reaching the hands, the arms back as far as you can. Elbows come up and over the ears. Deep breath in. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale. Last one. Deep breath in. Reach, reach, reach. Sip in a little more air. Hold the breath in. And exhale. Keeping the eyes closed, rolled up. Keep the energy contained. Bring the palms face up on your knees. Breathe deeply in and out through the nose. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Just be here and breathe. And I'll read to you a full moon blessing. May you harness the energy of this powerful full moon and with a clear mind and an honest, open heart, may you see and feel what it is that holds you back, what it is you cling to, where there is resistance, that which keeps you from going with the flow of life. May you strengthen your resolve from deep within and clear out what is old and stagnant within you. See it as completed. Accept adapt, and let it go. Create beautiful, open, free space within you to make room for your growth and expansion. Space for the universe to send in that which you most wish to manifest. May you soften and fearlessly open your heart and call upon the courage of the lion that dwells within each and every one of us. And may you keep your heart open no matter what challenges arise in your life. And may you trust that the circle and the entire universe will be there to support you. May you expand out from your open heart and find oneness with this circle and the universe and manifest your highest destiny in the process. And may you know that you are limitless. Deep breath in and exhale. And bring the left palm to the heart center, the right palm over the top. We'll close our circle by releasing the direction, the element, the allies. And then we will close with long time sun. So hands at the heart center, recognize the divine spirit within, give thanks to all of those who have been present in this circle and all of those who will be watching a little later as our circle continues to expand in the Pisces full moon energy. Bring your palms to the earth, give thanks to Pachamama, Mother Earth. Many blessings, she's always blessing us. Hands to the sky, give thanks to Pachatata, Father Sky, give thanks to Grandmother Moon for the illumination, the wisdom. To the north, the element of air, to the west, the element of water, to the south, the element of earth, to the east, the element of fire. We release these directions and give thanks for their support of our circle tonight. And we also give thanks to the fish the Pisces sign. Rub the palms together at the heart center. We'll close with long time sun and we will reconvene right back here in uh, 
Just a little over two weeks. Our next circle will be on Wednesday, September the 16th. Wednesday, September 16th, also at 8 p.m. Eastern, same time, here on 3HO Foundation Facebook Live for the Virgo New Moon. And the theme for that one is Organized Clarity. And so we'll tie together our release and resilience with Organized Clarity, completion of September. It's going to be a really great month. And a really great time of growth, release, and expansion. So rub the palms together, <laughs> press them to the heart center, may the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. And then we'll close with one long set nam. Take a deep breath in, exhale, inhale deeply to begin. As you exhale, fold forward at the waist, bring the palms, the forehead, and the heart down to the earth. Give thanks to Pachamama, Mother Earth, one more time for her support. Deep, deep gratitude coming back to our theme of gratitude. Inhale back up. And I will see you in just a couple of weeks. In the meantime, you can find me, Mary Do Yoga, M-A-R-I, last name D-E-W, Yoga, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I have a lot more videos on YouTube if you want to check that out. And also watch my Facebook page for announcements and upcoming events. Uh, I'm also going to be releasing the Liberated Heartbeat track that we listened to earlier. That comes out on Thursday, uh, the 3rd. Thursday the third day after tomorrow, and uh, that will be on Spotify, iTunes, everywhere else. And then next week on the 9th, 9-9, I'm releasing the Wahe Guru Wahe Geo beat, the track from our meditation today, and then the following week, the Kundalini tune-in. So watch for the new music, and uh, thank you so much. Take a moment, if you will, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you again for our next Moon Circle. Thank you for having me. Satnam. Aho. 
and namaste. Have a great night. Happy Pisces full moon.